it's titled Hybrid Botanicals based on San Diego's multicultural history. So each large 10 foot painting I do is based on the micro region, micro region of San Diego. So the first one I did was South Bay during my bread salt residency and currently working on central San Diego. So Point Loma, Coronado, central San Diego as well as uh, North Park and Hillcrest and all those different areas as well as Mission Valley and stuff. So I researched the history of San Diego and collect all the cultures that influence the region and pick and choose the plants that represent those cultures and hybridize them to create this um, weird surrealist plant environment based on multiculturalism, globalization, and um, things like that. So that's what I do. I'm currently working on other micro paintings about um, National City, Tovista Marina, as well as Spring Valley. So I'll be working on a lot of other paintings in a couple of years as well. I'm Brian Black, uh, installation performance artist. Um, for my art produce uh, artist in residency, um, I'm going to be developing an installation that incorporates sound, which is kind of a new genre that I've uh, become interested in, uh, in my work and my collaborative work. In particular, I'm interested in uh, shapes, uh, sounds, uh, and objects that sort of evoke um, a memory within the viewer. Looking forward to it. And um, I, my work is going to be exploring cultural displacement, especially for those of in Islamic and Middle Eastern immigrant families living in the US. Um, I tend to use um, domestic objects in my work and I manipulate them, trying to show some form of collective trauma or collective um, experience through these domestic objects. Um, I've done several research and by photographing different people's homes and living room spaces to collect these objects that I think have a deeper meaning for what the American dream is supposed to be in these immigrant homes and what they inspire to have. And then I wrap them in clear plastic vinyl. Um, to protect them, to encapsulate them, and to suffocate them in the water. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about the, this residency and having the opportunity and space to create these objects with uh, our groups. Hi, um, I'm Neil Kendricks, and I'm a San Diego-based artist, writer, and filmmaker. And uh, I'm honored to be one of the participants in this year's Artists in Residency program at Art Produce. Uh, to give you a little window into my particular practice, um, I am developing a couple screenplays that I hope to develop into storyboards and concept art, and perhaps even a graphic novel. Um, so I'm hoping to use the space to uh, at least get the beginnings of those, the, that part of my process. Um, I don't have a studio space uh, at home that I can devote to my creative work. So um, having this opportunity is a godsend. Um, I, I don't know what everyone else's living situation is, but uh, to just have a room where I could go to write and to draw and to dream um, is something that's a gift. So I look forward to being part of this. Thank you. Um, I'm Patsy Phillip. Um, I am primarily a work in public art, uh, specifically for textile art, using electronic waste and plastic waste. Um, the project I am hoping to work on is called Plastic, plastic Bahai Kubo. It's a temporary space for play made entirely out of like plastic waste. It's inspired by the Filipino um, traditional homes made from bamboo and nipa. Um, this project creates a space for social interaction, which would be, I think, really well needed after all the social distancing. Um, and basically, it's, it's honoring this traditional and symbolic icon for the Filipino culture. Hello, my name is Sophia Gonzalez, and I am currently artist in residence here at Art Produce. 
Um, my work uses plants to create natural dyes to record my sense of place and the memories that I have and create in different landscapes that I live in. My project here at Our Produce has focused around um, the neighborhood of North Park as well as the garden here. And it's called Portraits of North Park where I dyed um, hundreds of yards of fabric with different plants and vegetables to create um, layered sculptures that are really physical portraits of a time and a place in a really specific way. So each color represents um, both um, our produce as well as my experience with the plant and my time here. It's kind of transitioned a little bit with what's going on right now since people can't uh, physically be with the sculptures in the space. So I have invited people to receive a piece of the project in, in the mail um, of each color that I've created during this time and a map of where the colors were created. Hello, my name is Max. I am a installation artist. Uh, I work primarily in found objects and cheap materials that I could find at thrift stores and in the back alleys of the places I live. And I'm going to be taking that process that I have and using the cooler room, the artist in residence space at Art Produce to develop an installation that works with the space using the windows and the ceiling and the big running white wall. So I'm excited to have the opportunity and have a space to play. Hi, I'm Jamie Franks. I am the artist in residency at Art Produce. Um, I'm really interested in the ways that we consume propaganda and how propaganda can be untangled into individual components and then rearranged into new narratives. Um, Right now I'm working on social distancing prosthetics and I'm really, really excited to get started and be involved. Hey everybody, Peter Kalibas here, founding director of PGK Dance, and I'm extremely excited to be an artist in residence at Art Produce this season. So my residency is over an eight week uh, timeline. I'll be working with four different choreographers that I've discovered through a competitive process, and each week I'll be giving them a very challenging exercise. And the reason for this is because when I work with choreographers, when I mentor choreographers, it's when I give them a problem to solve, that they become their best selves. They really, they have to go out it and figure it out and when they figure it out they get closer to their own artistic statement who they are and what they do and why they do it and most importantly who is their audience who is this work for and so that's the whole purpose of this of this journey through this residency and my goal is that they then arrive at making these new dances that we can then share with the public and that'll all happen from November 5th through the 8th um, as part of our residency there at our produce we'll see you there thank you so much